All right. So as you already know that we are not con concerned too much about styling and I won't be showing too much of styling and CSS and that's the reason I did add some style to it and you can check in the repository which I'm gonna share on github that what the stylings are but let us check what do we have here so we as in the last video we already saw that we do have get the response from the weather API and I did structure it to get the desired look so let's take a look let's check for the weather in Austin alright so it says it's clear wind speed we are getting the temperature feels like so this is pretty good let us check for something else all right clouds let's check for something in India all right so this looks good so let, let's take a look what I have done in the code so as you see this app is uh, parent component and we are getting oh, all right so one thing I want to show you is I also have added a uh, error handling so when there when we don't get there there might be a situation where we don't get anything from the weather API and let me show you with an example if I want to check something in Antarctica the weather let's check the weather in Antarctica what does the response say it's gonna give us an error and let's check the error if I have console logged it all right so okay so it's a 404 error so it's no result found so in this situation how are we going to handle it so I have created or added another state which is error and this error state will update only when we get the code anything apart from 200 so 200 is a response so if we get 200 which is good so this is the response HTTP responses HTTP response codes and as you can see in the response 200 is a okay response anything between 200 to 299 is good anything between 400 to 499 it's a client error and anything between 500 to 599 is a server error so we are getting 404 so let's check what 404 is mm, okay 404 not found sometime if you don't use the correct uh, API key you might get the unauthorized uh, warning sometime you get a bad request response sometime when a lot of time when it's everything is perfect you will get the 200 okay so we got 404 and we handled it in this way so if we have a code which is 200 set the weather data to something else just set the error something is wrong we can make this more descriptive but right now it's just generic and as you can see here it is passed in as uh, there are two parameters now one is a weather data and other is the error and let's see how I have handle, handled the error so at the first place we are gonna check that if there is an error just directly throw the return the error and don't do anything else so that's one way to handle the error and also we have a starting text so this what does this mean is if the object is empty so initially we will be having an empty object so whether data will be empty so when it is empty it's just gonna show this you haven't selected a place please select one and if we have something in the weather data it's gonna show us the weather data and it's going to show us the correct response and the zeros index will be there I've tried it a lot of times and I never got an error if you do just comment below and we'll try to look into it so I have destructured the main and the wind as we get the response from the API let's check Austin what is the response so this is a zeros element so 
main is going to give us temperature feels like temperature minimum temperature maximum pressure humidity and stuff also we get clouds if you want to make this uh, make more sense to this uh, objects we will need to do some research in that we are not going to do in this video but yeah we can do that so we can even see the speed we are getting but did you notice one thing did you see that you are not getting anything at this point it is because we are not handling the error properly and the reason is look at this thing this is the API call and every time I set in uh, set the object of weather data I'm setting the error so if I get this uh, weather data at this point the error is supposed to be empty so I need to set the error at this point as well so what I can do is set error to empty string so in this way what's going to happen is every time if i get a successful response it's going to clear away the error and once it clears away the error we don't get anything in the result uh, or result child component we don't get any error so it's definitely going to pass through it's going to pass through this one because we are getting a weather data so we are at this stage so that's great so at this point we will be able to see what we desire to see so if we go here and if I check something all right I see this let's check for error Antarctica this is not Antarctica but this, that works and if I check something in Jordan let's see search perfect this works great we have the temperature and everything this is working great now I would like to show you about the temperature so as I told you before this temperature is in Kelvin and we need to convert it to Celsius or something or Fahrenheit if you are more familiar with that so how are we gonna do that is it's just a simple formula which you need to apply it's Kelvin minus 273.15 so that's what we need to do here and this is a function which does it because a lot of time what happens is when you do a two fixed like two decimal points it's gonna show like uh, trailing zeros so if the temperature is 10 degrees it's gonna show you 10.00 which is not something what we expect so for that reason what I have done here is if the module of 1 is equal to 0 that means that it's a whole number just return the whole number else just show up to like two decimals because the response what we get is 30 like not 54 it's going to be too hot so 21.5999999 something like this and what we need is we just need like two decimals so that's what this function is about so this is just a helper function and we call this function every time when we get a weather so it's going to be at this point yes i have added few classes just to make the ui look more beautiful this is not the best one but yeah it is something more presentable so i think this is it for this video and this tutorial as well and i have one task for you so if you can do one thing is let's say we get a temperature like nobody cares about kelvin but we do care about centigrade celsius and fahrenheit so if we have a button right here it's gonna say that okay change it to fahrenheit or something like that and it's gonna show you the temperature in fahrenheit so that's more useful so if you can do that just let me know in the comment and even show me in the github i would love to see in the github code share it with me and yeah that's a task for you guys so thank you very much for staying with us and as i told you before we really really appreciate your support and do share it with your friends and also let us know what you feel about the course what are the upgrades what are the recommendations for us about these videos and i'll see you in the next video 
All right, so have a good week. Bye-bye.